What's up my nerds? It's talking nerdy with me. So cannot tell by the short hair and makeup. I'm talking about Alita guys. Battle Angel. So I was able to go to an advanced screening of it last night, which was super fun. So thank you again so much to full screen. You're amazing. Incredible night. So I'm not gonna really spoil anything. I wrote notes. Cannot read them to save my life. Literally looks like just the like kind of like you gave like your pen to like a one-year-old and they took a piece of paper and was like here is my artwork that basically looks is my nose so I will just say an overall what I thought about it what I did and did not like about it and I would recommend it to you all I will say there's a part in the movie that I was like I would give this movie like an A minus B plus but this one little part they all are gonna be like really you're gonna knock it for that when you see it, I'm sure you will know why I would not give it as good of a grade. It gets like a solid B, almost B minus for me. I'm sure everyone else is going to touch on this, that the visuals were incredible. Holy crap. Rosa Salazar, the girl that actually played Alita. And then, you know, you also have Christoph Waltz, who, by the way, the whole entire time, I was just expecting him to be like, ooh, that's a bingo. Is that how you say it? That's a bingo? You just say bingo. Bingo! How fun! If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, what's wrong with you, you inglorious bastards? I'm gonna watch that now. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that after this now. Such a good film. At Quentin Tarantino, hello. Well, I can be Russian. I can be bloody British if you want to. I don't bloody care. Whatever you want me to do. Or if you want me to be Lieutenant Aldo Reigns. Company sergeant officer. I don't blood. I don't care Manorsville, Tennessee Nashville, I can do it Quentin. Let's get together and grab Brad and <laughs> make another movie Got a great cast, you know, I feel like they kind of like Jennifer Connelly I love her and I feel like they kind of wasted her in this that she could have had so much more than she actually got and then Marshall Ali he could have had a bigger part I feel like I, if you guys, okay, most of you have seen Deadpool, so if you guys have, you know, the British villain, also if you watch Game of Thrones, he was the original Dario Naharis until he got replaced, Ed Screen, 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 I probably mispronounced it and totally butchered it, my bad, Ed, but he's in this, and God, I love him, he plays such a great villain, I'm sorry, and he's very good to look at. Overall, like I said, I give it like a B, diff friend ish it kind of has some ready player one vibes like ba basically the whole premise is there's this like lower city that you know is lower class trash whatever and then there's like the higher floating above you city where you're assuming that these are like the elite of the elite and you know people want to get up there and try to do things to get up there everyone's like a cyborg now or has become a cyborg is that what because this takes place i think in like 2538 it said so this is like a long time in the future that, you know, we're all probably become cyborgs. The visuals, like I said, amazing job. I, pfft. anyone that's gonna try to come at me and be like, the visuals sucked, you're stupid. Just kidding, you're not. It's just, you're, you're clearly blind. But as like a story, I wasn't like super invested in it. Like I didn't get any tears. Like there were some jokes here and there that I was like, they're not landing with me. Also the fact, I'm sorry, I don't even know the guy's name. K Karen, Kayan, something? The guy that plays like the love interest in this, which is, it's so transparent why this is on Valentine's Day. My birthday, by the way, in one week. I'm gonna be 27, y'all. Shot. Yeah, no, the love story. <laughs> I could have easily fast forward and skipped all that. You didn't need it. It was pointless. It was stupid. Cut it out. But now I know why you released on Valentine's Day. They had like no chemistry whatsoever. And it was like a very quick, I'm not really spoiling anything here, but it's just like a very quick, I love you. Like, are they taking notes from Disney that you know each other a day? And I, but daddy, I love him. Okay, Ariel, but your name's Alita now. <laughs> Please. It leaves you kind of on the edge of your seat. Like, wait, what? I'm sorry. What? Kind of like Avatar, you know, it kind of leaves that. Like, you might, you might as well make a second one. I don't think I'm spoiling anything with that there. You can continue the story. You cannot. That's up to you. And just the overall theme, guys, which... This might come as a shock. Just prepare yourselves. Hold on. I'll let sit. If you're already sitting down, cool. If you're not, take a moment. Sit down. This is gonna be. It's gonna blow you away. It's gonna tip you over. 
You good? Y'all good? The theme of this movie, which is brand new to Hollywood right now. Woman power. There is this elite woman who's going to destroy and take over, be better than all the men. Granted, there's another like woman in it too, but like, you know. <gasps> and what, I, I, where did they get this idea? <gasps> a woman in a very heroic role. I will say though that I like Alita as a character better than I like Captain Marvel for what I've seen so far. So far! I'm allowed to have a so far opinion to all the trolls that are like, you can't judge anything until you see the movie. They're called trailer reactions. I'm reacting to a trailer. It's in the title. I can't be any more clear than that. So yeah, my overall, sure, go see it. Like I, if you don't, eh, you're not missing much. But if you see it, I think you'll like it. There's action, there's good music, so amazing visuals. Christoph Waltz is incredible. Everything he does. Yeah. Basically, I feel like it's like Battle Bots meets Ready Player One meets like a superhero movie meets like Hunger Games ish. Eh, smidgen. But I haven't read the books that this is based off of. So, like, if I'm getting things wrong or if I'm like misinterpreting things wrong, I am sorry. You can kindly educate me below about it if you read them. I'm fascinated to learn. But yeah, overall as a film, it's not like something I'm gonna go purchase or I'm gonna ever watch again. But it wasn't terrible. So yeah. If you guys have, huh, if you probably have not seen it, but if you somehow have, comment below, let's talk nerdy together. If you guys have thoughts or questions you just wanna talk about below about the movie or what you're feeling like you feel like it's gonna be like or like answer a question without spoiling, I'll do that. But, yeah, that is it. And if you guys have suggestions for try me videos and things you want me to try that are appropriate or that might be fun, I have things I am currently working on, like a mean comments. So don't start leaving one now to see if you get included in it. I'm going to pass videos, so like, comment yourselves. Cause some of them are actually funny. Cause you know, I just, internet trolls ultimately make me laugh. There'll be a moment of help you a lot. Oh. Oh, let's go. But most of the time, just like, <laughs> sit down, you're pathetic. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I appreciate all of you that are kind to me. Can I please get to 10,000 by the end of February? I would like 27 to start off at like a somewhat good note. And also, I hate this hairstyle and I'm so glad for it to be over. So I can put my hair back down. But hey, I tried. She's wearing like a high neck thing. She has a sword. I feel like I'm on theme. As always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I put out new videos every week, whether they are lives or actual videos, nerdy and or otherwise related, or they're just pun. Because I like to keep y'all on your toes. I like to do th some things different. I'm sticking to talk nerdy with me because that's who I am. I like nerdy things, but that's what my Try Me videos are for, to do things with a nerdy essence, but a little different. You gotta keep you all excited. That was weird. I am signing off now, so... Have a good week, y'all. Let's talk below here. Make sure you follow my Instagram, Peyton.Swanson, Twitter, Swanson underscore Peyton, because that is when I post that when I'm doing lives, or if I just want to chat with y'all. And my Twitch is set up, but have I streamed yet? No. Been busy. Need to get on it. That is my fault. I will take blame. Yeah, I will take blame for that. But I will be on there. Call me Khaleesi is my Twitch name. My gamer tag for Xbox is talk nerdy with me. Alright, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you follow everything in the description below. Love you. Bye.